Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another example of how to use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of a function. In this case you're asked to find dy dx or the derivative of y with respect to x of something that looks like this and you can try but you're not going to succeed in somehow writing this in terms of y equals some function of x where on the right side equation all you have is x on the left side equation all you have is y. That's not going to happen. So the only way to do a problem like this is to take the ddx or the derivative with respect to x of both sides of the equation and then algebraically isolate and solve for dy dx. So let's do that. So we're going to take the derivative, the ddx, of the left side of the equation, which is x cubed minus y squared, equals the ddx of the right side of the equation, 4xy plus y cubed. All right, on the, on the left side, uh, the ddx of x cubed is 3x squared times dx dx, which we don't have to write because that's simply 1, minus the derivative of y squared, that would be 2y to the first power, but here we take the ddx of y, which is dy dx. And there is the first one of these dy dx's we're going to find in our equation here. That equals the right side the ddx of 4xy, now notice x times y, that's a product, so we have to use the product rule, so it's the 4 times the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, the ddx of y is dy dx, plus the second, which is y, times the derivative of the first, which is dx dx, or just simply 1, so that's good enough here. Uh, just to make sure you don't get too confused, let me just put it in there. So it's the second y times the derivative of the first, which is times 1, like that. So it's a little bit more complete. Now, th you did notice that I took the 4 and put it out as 4 times the derivative of x times y, so I left it out like that. Okay, now we still have to take the ddx of y cubed, so that is plus 3y squared times the derivative of y with respect to x, which is dy dx. And now notice that we have three places where we find dy dx. We have a dy dx here, we have a dy dx here, and we have a dy dx there. And so now algebraically we have to solve for dy dx. So first I'm going to simplify things a little bit. So we have 3x squared minus 2y dy dx equals, we have 4x dy dx plus 4 times y plus 3y squared dy dx. So maybe I shouldn't have taken the 4 out in the first place because I ended up putting it back in, makes it easier. But now you can see that this term, this term, and this term all have to appear on the left side. This term and this term need to be on the right side. So Isolating this, we have 2y dy dx. And we take this term to the left side, it becomes minus 4x dy dx. And then we take this term to the left side, so this becomes minus 3y squared dy dx. Equals, now we already have the 4y on the right side, so we can write that here. And then we have this term right here, the 3x squared, move that to the right side, that becomes minus 3x squared. Remember, whenever you cross equal sign, you want to change the sign. Now on the left side, we can factor out a dy dx. So we have dy dx times, we have a minus 2y, minus 4x, and a minus 3y squared. That equals 4y minus 3x squared. And then finally, I can divide both sides of the equation by what's inside the parentheses here. When I do that, I essentially take this and divide that into the right side over there. So this becomes minus 2y minus 4x minus 3y squared, like so. And then I can then say that the derivative of y with respect to x of that equation right there is equal to minus 4y minus 3x squared divided by, and I don't think I can simplify anything here, no, we'll solve it, right? That's minus 2y minus 4x minus 3y squared. Now, I did notice something here. Every term on the right side has a negative in front. I have negatives on the numerator, negatives on the denominator. I can multiply both sides, or I should say the top and the bottom are negative one. So I can more cleanly write this as dy dx is equal to 4y 
plus 3x squared divided by 2y plus 4x plus 3y squared. And that here is the derivative of my function found by using implicit differentiation. And that's how you do problems like that. Hmm.